for serving as an election judge with Ramsey County. This important work would not be possible without your help. In our work with Ramsey County residents, we want all voters to feel excited and empowered by their voting experience. Both verbal and nonverbal communication are incredibly important to think about while working with fellow election judges and the public. The decisions that we make when interacting with each other is what creates a welcoming environment. Individuals working for Ramsey County are all obligated to treat every member of the public with respect and value their individual needs. Understand our responsibility to make voters feel welcome through the voting process and use empathy and patience in our interactions with both voters and other election judges. We all have biases and make assumptions about people based on our perceptions. These biases, no matter how internal they are, may lead to us treating others unfairly without noticing. We now invite you to think about how this applies to the voting process. Are all voters receiving the same greeting, instruction, and opportunity to ask questions? If we have biases we're unaware of, we may not be treating all people the same, and we may not notice. However, the person being treated differently will notice, as may others. We have an opportunity to understand what our biases are and the impact that they have on others, and try our best to make it a positive one. Through the following scenario, we reflect on how individuals are impacted by the assumptions made about them. We should create an environment where voters feel welcome, asking for assistance if they choose. We cannot assume anything about a voter's ability to move through the process unless otherwise directed by the voter. I'd like to vote today. Well, that is fantastic and quite impressive, I might add. Why do people always assume I need help or that I can't hear them or that they have to slow things down for me? All I want to do is vote in peace. Now, if you would like, we could get someone to help you into the booth if you would want help. No, I'm fine. One example of when we make an assumption is when a voter may come into the polling place with another person who appears to be assisting them. Rather than speaking to the person assisting the voter, we must speak directly to the voter so they feel respected. They are the one you are interacting with. Our remarks, questions, and actions are powerful and can impact a voter's experience immensely. Being conscious of when we may cause harm, even if unintended, specifically if these comments or actions are received as discriminatory or stereotyping, is important so we do not offend or alienate our audience. Excuse me, I'd like to vote today. Uh, great, yeah, so what is your name? Uh, Khadija Davalos Jimenez. Mm. Hmm, uh, could you maybe spell that for me? D-A-V-A-L-O-S-J-I-M-E-N-E-Z. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, so this is what I'm coming up with, but that doesn't really look like what you said earlier. Can you pronounce that again? Yeah, it's pronounced Khadija. I know it's spelled a little differently. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> you know, those, uh, those foreign names are always a little bit hard for me to, uh, to get, but... Man, he didn't even try to pronounce my name right. Like, it doesn't matter. What was that foreign reference? I was born here, lived here my whole life. Um, why don't you take this ticket and you can head on right over there and grab your ballot. Thanks. Excuse me, I'd like to vote today. Yeah, and so what is your name? Khadija Davalos Jimenez. Uh, so this one, I'm, uh, I'm afraid I might mispronounce this if I don't have a little bit more help. Do you mind just pronouncing your name for me one more time so I can get it right? Sure. Names are important. Khadija Davalos Jimenez. Great. Khadija Davalos Jimenez, is that correct? Yeah. 
Fantastic, great. I just wanna make sure that I get that right. You know, names are important, so. Here is your ticket, and if you just wanna head right over there, uh, they'll get you a ballot. Thanks a lot. This is Fortuna Ali. She's here to vote today. Mm, great. Um, and are you sure she's a U.S. citizen? Uh, as far as I know, yes. I'm only here to translate. All right. So um, if you could just uh, remember that this is a democratic process and we really need this to reflect her vote and not yours, okay? I need to be a... Yeah. Ali wa haraba manta ina utkega deep talk. This is for Tuna Ali. She's here to vote today. Fantastic. Uh Fatun Ali, is that right? Great, and will you be joining her in the booth today? Yes, I will. Awesome. Um, okay, here is your ticket to go and get your ballot. And yeah, thank you both so much for coming in and taking part in the democratic process. Thank you. We hope that you join us and reflect on how to provide service to your community in a way that is empowering and inclusive. How can we as a team ensure that every voter is treated with respect and feels welcome and provide the same level of service to each voter with empathy and patience?